Okay, I wanted to take a minute to uh, go over real quick. Well, actually, I'll try to go slow. Um, SKE six SKSE sixty four for Skyrim Special Edition. Um, how do you find out which version you're running, uh, and at the same time check for anyone who may have just installed SKSE 64 to see if they did it properly. Um, and then I'll show you how to, uh, you know, for those who don't know, how to find out which version of Skyrim Special Edition they're running, uh, both via the in-game menu and from the Steam library. So, without further ado, Let's start off with Skyrim Special Edition by launching it here from our SKSE 64 loader shortcut on the desktop, which of course is the proper way to load Skyrim if you have SKSE 64 installed. You would not launch it the traditional way once you have uh, SKSE 64 installed. I've got about 520 some odd mods uh, so uh, it still should uh, load up fairly quickly especially once we're on the main menu okay so from the main menu we're gonna stop right here and this is uh, the best way to find out if you installed SKSE 64 properly. So if someone asks you what version you have and you're having problems with SKSE 64 and perhaps you came to one of the forums, um, Steam or Nexus or whatever the case may be, and they ask you, you know, um, okay, so you just installed it and it's not working or you're having a problem, you don't know what's what the problem is, maybe another um, uh, mod that depends on it is not working, uh, whatever the case may be, what version do you have? Well, um, if you don't know, then um, you may not even know if you installed it properly. So from this screen down in the lower left-hand corner, you see the Bethesda Game Studios logo. What we're going to do is we're going to hit on our keyboard the tilde key and for those of you that don't know which key that is on the American keyboard it's right below the escape key um, just to the left of the of the one uh, key the number one key um, you would hit that it's called the tilde key and you see what happened there so right by the Bethesda logo which I pointed out a moment ago lower left hand corner you see the flashing cursor Real simple. You're going to type in all one word, and that's going to be get SKSE version. And then you're going to hit enter. And there it is. SKSE 64 version 2.0.17 release, runtime, um, and those are the numbers. Uh, at the time of the recording of this video, they could be a different set of numbers by the time you view this video. But right now, uh, in February of 2020, um, that is the current version. If that does not come up, or anything else comes up besides that, indicating any other text there, than SKSE 64 version, whatever it is, release and runtime. If that's not there, you didn't install it properly, stop right there, go back, find the instructions how to remove whatever you did properly and reinstall it. And then of course it's also giving you the exact runtime. So we hit the tilde key again and that's gone. And uh, we come over here, hit continue and just real quick as this will only take a second to load, we'll just go ahead and demonstrate 
how you find out what version of the game you have. You might already be in the game, and while you're in the game, you want to know what version. Here we are. You're going to go to the same menu that you go to when you save, and that's over here in System, and down in the bottom left-hand corner. And by the way, System, that's where Quick Save, Save, Load, Mods, Settings, the MCM menu if you have that installed, all that going all the way down to quit. Anyway, you see right there in the lower left hand corner of that placard, there it is, 1.5.97.0.8, and it also gives you the SKSE version. Just a little something I wanted to point out. So let's quit, and let's just do one thing real quick, in case you don't want to come and fire up your game, and you already know your SKSE version, but you're not sure what version of the game you're running, you'll just go to Steam, you'll go to your library, and you'll go over here to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, right here. Put your cursor on there, right click it, and go down to Properties in that little drop down menu. Click on that, and in this menu that pops up right here, You've got your general, your updates, your local files, your language, and your betas. You're going to click on local files. Then you're going to click on browse local, local files. And this is the best way, if you're not sure where your information is for Skyrim Special Edition, your XE files, and this is where you install SKSE64. This is the best way to get there if you don't know. And you know you're there again when you see this. These two XE files. And if you don't have these two XE files showing, if it just says Skyrim, and then you, what you want to do is go up here and view and make sure that you're on details. If you're not on details, you see, it's going to show you all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's not going to show you necessarily and we won't mess with that but anyway um, so we can go to that XE file and we can click on properties we can go right here in the details tab and there it is 1.5.97 just another way there's all you know you can you can do it from your you know, actually, you should do it from here because this is your game and the game that you're running. Right-click on the Skyrim SE XE. The bottom is Properties. Go up to the. You got your you got your tabs up here. You go to Details and Product Version. Okay, so that's it for this. See you guys the next time.